Hello, this is your girl for Salty, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Make sure you like and subscribe. Make sure you click that notification button so you know exactly when I'm uploading new content. I'm on VU today, and I'm going to teach you guys a quick tutorial on how to make a custom chain. Now, it's similar to how you make a belly ring. So, if you want to look at that video, you can, but please, I hope you guys enjoyed this video as well. If you hear any noise in the background, they're doing some work on my yard, so just ignore that. But if you don't hear any noise, that's good. All right, so let's get started. So this is what the chain looks like. And before we get started, I am going to remove the mesh part of the chain because it's moving and I don't really care to have my chain move like that. So I'm going to remove that. I'm going to unclick self illuminating. Okay. there it's gone and I'm just gonna click save okay I'm gonna show you guys who I derived from so let's go so I derived from duty 3d and they only give you one texture which is the chain link part and the product ID is down here or you can click derive from product which is much easier for a lot of people Let's go into Google to see uh, some inspirations. So in Google, I typed in custom pendant PNG, and this is what came up. These are just examples. There's so many ones that I like. One that stood out to me was this one. <laughs> it's Looney Tunes. And I like the Ace of Spades. I love that. So these are just different ones that you can, you know, choose. If ones do not, oh, this is creepy. <laughs> if ones do not stand out to you, you can always look further. But I tend to go custom pendant PNG all the time. Just to get an idea of what I might pick for something. Click out of that. Scroll down a little bit more. So I have different ones. This is just giving you guys an idea of what you might want to do. They have the name ones. A lot of people make their credits by like doing custom name, you know, necklaces and stuff and chains. Like they, they make a good amount of credits doing that. Well, you can do that as well if you choose to do that. But this is what it looks like. So these are just some examples. If you find one that doesn't is not PNG, you can make it a PNG by removing the background. I have videos on how you remove the background to make something transparent. It's simple and easy. You can check those videos out. They will help you. Okay, so let's go into GIMP and get started. So we are in GIMP now, and I already uploaded the chain. Which is, this is what it looks like. And I made my own map. Now, it's very simple to do. I've showed you guys in previous videos how to make your own map, opacity maps. You just go File, New, and whatever size it needs to be. This is 512 times 512 and it needs to be black. Now I'm going to do file open as layer. Okay and we have the spider PNG. Now I'm going to scale it. Scale layer probably going to do 400. It's not bad. And now I am going to move it up. Okay. 
and I'm going to do the opacity map first. So all I need to do is color this white. So I'm going to do colorize. And I'm going to play with this and bring the lightness all the way up and there. Now I'm going to override it. File, export. Okay, let's go into VU to see what it looks like. So, 512 times 512, and that's where I got it from. So, the opacity map goes here. So, I'm going to click on that and put the spider in its place. And I'm not going to apply changes yet. I'm going to go back and undo that and then put the texture in. So, let's go back into GIMP. Okay, so all I got to do is undo, and then I go File, Export. Now let's go back into VU. So we're back in VU, and now I'm clicking on the texture, and I'm clicking on Chain. Now I'm going to apply changes. Save. See what it looks like? Gorgeous, huh? That's not bad. It actually looks gorgeous. Now, I want the chain link to look the same color as my spider. So, let's go, and I'll show you how to do that super quick. All right, we're going to be using the dropper tool. So, this is where the dropper tool is at. The picker tool, actually, that's what it's called. Okay, so what I'm going to do is click on it. So, that's all you do is click on this. And you just click on the color. So what color will I be picking? You can click between the photo to see what what color is more visible. And I'm going to go with the darker, darker gray, I would say. Yeah, I'm going to go with the darker gray. Okay, so now you click on the pink bucket tool. You click on that, press OK. And what I'm going to do is just paint bucket it. <laughs> now, it may not look too good now, but this is the way I do it. Some people may choose not to do it this way. I'm going to leave some of it like this. All right. Now I'm going to overwrite it. Now let's go back into VU to see what it looks like. Okay, we're back in VU, and we are going to change the color. So, the texture, let's see what it looks like. That is gorgeous, actually. To be honest with you, I like it like this. Now, if you choose to change the texture for this part, you can do that. But I actually like it like this. It just looks better. It looks more expensive, actually. <laughs> But I like it like this. As you can see, it matches the spider. I actually really like it. So it's very simple and easy to do this. As you guys can see, the video is super quick. But just keep in mind, it's not going to always be this easy for certain things. I will be doing video on harder things in the future, but... For right now, I'm focusing on beginners and people that are new to this and actually want to learn the basics before they get into anything harder. This is it. This is how you make the chain. It's very simple and quick. But make sure you guys like and subscribe. Click that notification button so you know exactly when I'm uploading new content. Please subscribe and please like. And... I'm going to be making more videos and being more consistent, so this really does help. Please like and subscribe. Comment down below if you have any questions or if you want me to do a video on the specific things. I don't know how to do a video on all things, but I can help with some things. So feel free to comment down below and have a nice day.